tiny little baby in a tube. Wow, nature really is wonderful. Well, hello there. I didn't see you come in, which is coincidentally what Ciala said to Arcadius. Welcome to the room of Arcadius where we are growing a tiny little man. In fact, we are 14.78% of the way to having grown this tiny little man into a less tiny little man. Somebody in the comment section yesterday said that apparently the brain templates are not the cortical stacks. So we can insert a brain template and have Arcadius Remastered appear, spawn in, what's the word for that? Uh, break out of his tube with, with, with already some skill. Now I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I have no idea how to get a brain template. Maybe someone will volunteer. Or maybe we can craft one. Let's type in the word template. Mm. I'm gonna type in the word temp. Mm. I'm gonna type in the word template. You know, I'm getting the strange feeling we probably can't craft them. I can't believe I'm about to say the words I'm about to say. I went onto the Steam Workshop page and I did some. I did some reading. Turns out you can only get the uh, brain templates from quests, rarely. So I don't think we've got any in storage. I'll take a quick look, but we certainly. Haven't done any quest to get any. I don't know. Maybe we had like a drop pod or something. Uh, no. No, we do not. So quest now. Ancient ruin complex. Ancient ruin? What, like from... Oh, no. <laughs> ah, I was going to say, hang on a minute. Is that not from 1.3? Okay, it's very simple. We never again look at the world map. I just spent 25 minutes trying to fix that and all it did was made my PC shut down. Oh, my. Um, I think you're too powerful at this point. Captain Cube is finally back up on his feet after we, um, mutilated him yesterday. 343% manipulation, wow. Exoskeleton suit, monkey feet, and two extra arms. I mean, two extra arms would probably do that. Yeah, I'm gonna, they're not like improvements on his regular arms. He still has his regular arms. These are like two other arms. He's also got, uh, plague lesions, and I don't entirely know how they work. Uh, these lesions do not close and maintain the appearance of an open wound. Oh, oh, that's vile. Once the host takes damage, however, they expel a noxious plague that affects whom ever damaged the host in melee. Oh, so it's just like a. Uh... Oh, there you go. It gives them purgles rot, a dangerous infectious disease caused by designed bacteria, exceptionally lethal. Well. We can lead every fight by just putting Captain Cuba out on the front line. Leave him out there like a tasty snack for Void, and the next thing they know it, bang! Typhoid, or the plague, or whatever it gives them. Let's make a slight change to these workbenches. So we'll keep this one as all the stuff we want to test out on Captain Cuba. I mean, uh, augment Captain Cuba with. And then in this one, we'll put all the stuff we want to give to Arcadius. The, the good implants, the ones that aren't, say, open wounds filled with the plague. So I've added everything into the mix that makes the human body better without it adding anything new. With one, well, I suppose technically two exceptions. We've got Ra's Vacuol that makes him immortal biologically. And then the other one is wings because, I mean, he is Saint Arcadius after all. Wonder if we could just replace all his limbs with wings. Make ourselves a biblically accurate Arcadius. So our primary goal is fight as many mechanoids as possible so that we can make all these crazy organs that or smash up a bunch of our own robots. But then, even then, we're going to need to fight more mechanoids eventually, right? Now I'm, oh my God, it's right there. That couldn't have been any better timing. I was about to say, I'm fairly certain one of the tiers of Arco technology allows us to make a beacon that will summon mechanoids out of Arcotech fragments and Arcotech... Uh, mass? Since the very start of time itself, Ohm has had the Arcotech replicator. The only thing he arrived on this fair planet with. We've got a thousand fragments just sitting there. What I'm saying is I think it's time to cash out. This is the one thing that we've been sitting on the entire playthrough. Kind of curious how much we've got in total outside of what we just got on display there. Uh, oh, wow. Whoa. Where's the Arcotech mass, though? I can't be it, surely. No, 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 no. That's not right. I'll put it in here. No. What did you do with all my Arcotech mask? That can't be right. Give me those. Select similar. And the entire map. <gasps> what? Were they... Were they stolen? Well, the research is done, but I'm not entirely sure we can build anything. We've got a research assistant and an Arcotech research bench. I think we're going to need a better lab. This, this is stretched to its bursting point. You know what that reminds me? Someone brought it up in the comments section yesterday. Apparently the next tier of the Science Never Stop stuff builds a 
bigger multi-analyzer all the way up to something like five times five. Much better. One state-of-the-art lab. And I also decided to convert all of the auto haulers down into mechanoid components so that we could get upgrades for Arcadius Remastered. Well, and award crimes for Captain Cuba. Hey, congratulations, Omen Struppers, our first two colonists for finally getting married. It only took them hundreds of years. <laughs> <laughs> it's still going to take a very long time for Arcadius Remastered to be grown. As it stands now, only 35.79%. And I mean, shit, even if the Commandos turn up again right now, we're still fairly underpowered compared to them. Not to mention Void? Could potentially turn up any time now. And whatever other ungodly high-tier factions we have in this mod pack. I think we need some more ultra-tech era-appropriate weapons and armor. Next up in our very fancy lab of very fancy things, we do have the ability to make Stellar Steel. Ah... Okay, I mean, that's quite clearly the obvious route to go for crazy overpowered stuff, right? It might be better early on, though, to get those neural calculators and learning assistant, especially if we can give it to Arcadius Remastered. Repulsive technology could be very, very good. Throw shields over the base just so that we've got places to take cover in the event we get, say, uh, a void drop pod raid or something like that. Wait, or not? Locked. What am I, what am I missing? What, what's happened? What was it called? Stellar Steel. What am I missing? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have played this game before, I promise. I, I, you're going to have to take my word for it. I mean, shit, given that I can't even look at the world map without it shutting down my PC, did genuinely think that something else had broken there. There was also a very special request in the comment section yesterday. Somebody asked if we could give Brig Lebowski, uh, the second chickeny Pank Dimos, a title to commemorate him charging into battle and single-handedly killing a centipede at the age of, like, 13. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's fairly appropriate for killing a centipede. You will now address him as Brigadier Lebowski, the second chicken e pank Dimos leg smasher. Um, you got to ask for a friend here. How are we down to minus 21,000 watts? <laughs> um, everything, everything's connected. Everything's connected. Wow, that's uh, that's impressive. Mm, I see. Well, let me just uh, let me just consult the statistics here and uh, oh yes, I can see you're using a. Fuck load of power. Wow, that is that is sincerely a lot of power. We got anything we can turn off? 13 greenhouse controllers. 30,000 kilowatts. Do we need food slightly faster? Uh, I'm going to assume no. Those can go then. Goodbye, greenhouses. I mean, we could just turn back on the antimatter reactor. We're probably not going to use antimatter much longer to make weapons and armor out of, right? Oh, another marriage. Wow. Susumu and Fendeldorp. Okay. So we've had Captain Cuba and Penny were were married, I think, right at the end of yesterday. Omen Strooper has just got married. We've got another one today. I'll, I'll do a recap at the end. We'll go through all the characters and see their relationships if we can <laughs> if we can decipher it. Did I just did I just read that letter correctly? A crate with a beaver called Avalon? A gift from Arcadius. Arcadius the Obsidian Saint. The man who famously rained down thousands of gold on this colony when he died. He's raining beavers. I couldn't think of anything more appropriate. The sacred beaver of Arcadius. He is going to have so many questions when we resurrect him. <laughs> Weird, it's working now. How could I have possibly guessed you needed a multi analyzer to do advanced research in this game? It's time that we harness the power of cosmic matter on this planet. That's funny, I was I was thinking exactly that. I woke up this morning, you know, I, I thought to myself, wow, really is just time we did that. What does that do for us? I'm not entirely sure, but I kind of noticed there's the word stellar bionics there. Stellar digestive system. Thank you, I... I've been working on it. I'm very proud of my digestive system. I imagine these probably are much more powerful than what we've got already, right? Body part efficiency 150%. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely nothing compared to the uh, Glitter Tech Bionics even now. It might be way easier to make, though. That's the important part. We're going to go for another Bionic. I think it's best just to get them out of the way as soon as possible, right? That way we can, we can plan them out and get whatever resources we need ready for Arcadius Remastered. We could go for the shields again. We could go quantum bit technology. That would allow us to carry on with this thing here. The the AMC duplicates. I have no idea how those work. That's a mod that I've never played before. Or our other choice is next generation research that lets us build an advanced chess table. <laughs> Giga television. Sold. Before we get too ambitious though, let's take a look at what that cosmic forge was there it is now we had this one in the original robo daddy series a very 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 long time ago and since then it looks as if it's changed quite a lot uh it consumes thirty thousand watts wow what's our grid looking like with this back online 100 okay so we got 115,000 watts spare i might preemptively start working on what we need for another plasma fusion reactor 
24 Alpha Poly 48 magnetic coils. Yes. Finally, we can get rid of this low tier ultra screen television. You know what? Um, stop that right now. That doesn't even deserve being deconstructed. Yeah. One giga television. Oh my god, it's fucking huge. It's gonna block the door. 275 star steel. Wanna want a telescope? Okay, let's throw uh, let's just throw one of those down like like right there, and then we'll put one like up here, I suppose. Advanced billiards table. Get that weak wooden billiard shit out of here. Four dimensional chess. Yeah, get fucked, Nebuchadnezzar. It's time for a man of true culture. Elon Musk himself. Oh no. <laughs> This game of Herbal takes him 2,500 watts. What about the Giga Television? 3,000. How the freaking hell does a Giga Television use almost as many watts as a game of Herbal? Game of Herbal was uh, where Game of Yorkmouth was buried. <laughs> <laughs> what a shit joke. Um, I'm gonna need you to capture a beaver. Oh my god, how incredibly self aware. <laughs> yes, eat the corn, beaver. Eat the corn. Country girls make do. Come on. Come on. Beaver time. Ah! Oh! Hey, there you go. Unsuccessfully tamed Avalon. Avalon, comma, holy be- oh. <laughs> Avalon, holy bee. You know it's short for beaver. Everybody, everybody knows it's short for beaver. How are we doing with the magnetic coils? Uh, we're not. We're uh, miles away. Let's just do it and work under the assumption the power is going to be thinly spread for quite some time. So here it is, the Cosmic Forge. Well, what is that? Secondary Cosmic Forge mixer. Oh, it's stuffable? Oh, I should have built it out of, um, is it Cimerium? Whatever, we'll worry about that later. Is this thing here to Secondary Cosmic Forge mixer? Uh, what do you do? When directly adjacent to a Cosmic Forge, it gives 50% work speed. Wow, that's very good. Maybe I should install these closer to the stockpile. I almost spent enough time with Avalon the Holy Beaver. What personality does Avalon have? Oh, he's sleeping next to Joris. Ah, uh, he's of a kind nature. She is known to be the cuteness overload. I think Arcadius would be the judge of that. The man knows his way around a beaver. Begin making star steel. Thank you, Ohm. I think that's I think that's thoroughly dead at this point. So we can make star steel. Uh 30 star steel from 7 gold and 25 plastic. That's pretty generous. We can make star steel wool from 5 star steel, which is a metal-like textile composed of dense strands of star steel. Okay, so that'd be making uh leathers and and maybe even star steel carpet, who knows? And then we can convert it back at the same ratio. So it could back to back to five star steel. Infection, what the hell happened? Social fight? Ah. Uh, annihilation. Oh, you fool. <laughs> How? What? Why did you even go over there? I don't understand. I'm just so bored in this colony that can supply absolutely everything I will ever need. Guess I'll just throw myself right in there. Maybe, uh... Maybe be careful training the animals with those mushrooms, given that Captain Cuba is made of them at this point. And I'm fairly certain that's what we used to fill up the vat for Arcadius Remastered. Being devoured by your own beaver is some real Greek mythology shit. Ah, uh, well this I wasn't expecting. So I wanted to take a look at the uh, colony tree just out of curiosity, really. The game is really not happy with it. We have committed a sincere war crime here because the game itself won't even show me what's happening. They just, they just leave as fast as they appear. <laughs> <laughs> so we can either go down the high parallel route now, which is the thing I was planning on doing anyway, or we go for cybernetic warfare, get some more energy weapons, some more ultra tech level energy weapons. I think our weapons are actually fine. The difference between 70 DPS and 120 isn't really going to be that relevant. More armor value? Absolutely is. Investigate the use of hyper components. Hyper components combine antimatter and arco technology, but you don't understand how. We can never craft these. I, I love this as a balancing feature. You can't craft these. When you're raided by the Ultratech faction, there is a chance that they might drop them when you kill them. So now it's just a case of playing the waiting game or maybe getting the Void Storyteller. Advanced Drug Production or Cosmic Hydroponics. I mean, that would be very, very good, but we haven't really got the power for it. This, though, Aegis prevents 
A uh, vast variety of diseases. Okay, very nice. Oh, that's like all diseases. All base game ones anyway. Okay, fair enough. We've got uh, boost. Blocks pain, increases movement speed, and improves the use of melee and shooting abilities. Okay, big fan of that. An ambrosia-flavored beverage. Lux provides an initially powerful euphoria that lasts a few minutes. 17% recreation from chemical consumption. It's always safe, apparently. And then Stim 4 or Stim IV. Basically makes it so you can just rest whenever you want by taking a drug. You know what? Those sound pretty good. I think we'll just make a bunch and then pour it right in the vat. And we are just about to cross 50%. Oh, no way. Oh, you guys have got giga television. You're blocking your... <laughs> blocking your door. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Star steel plate armor. Overlapping solid plates of star steel armor covering the entire body from neck to feet. Unlike the standard plate armor, however, this does not restrict movement in the side of the spirit of the light's power armor. Let's see Void get through that. Oh, God. I, I regret what I said. I'm sorry. Star nothing. Star... Ah, there we are. Star steel helmet. Star steel plate. Oh, we do need the star steel wall as well. Oh, shit. This could be quite expensive. Let's... Uh, let's just make one. And let's see if it's affected by quality first. See if we can actually make, like, masterwork star steel plate. Oh, God. That was fast. Okay. Oh, there we go. Star steel plate legendary. 225% sharp. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's like a huge upgrade over what we've got. Yeah. That doesn't look too bad. Let's just give that a bit of a kick. Hello. Oh. Oh, that's a bit pathetic. It's Brigadier Lebowski. This man can't be contained. Talk about overkill. Holy shit. <laughs> I guess the vanilla expanded insect raids don't scale to wealth. We are on Savage still. Uh, we maybe maybe it's because we've only got 4.5 million silver. I'm not entirely sure. And I think I'll place an order for 22 more of those. I'm not going to worry about weapons for the time being. Otherwise, we're going to spend forever making a weapon, then upgrading to the next tier, then making a bunch, then upgrading it. Growth Stimulator. What the hell is that? Hello. Grants the ability to cast Massive Lightning Strike. Oh, okay. Sold. Little Arcadius is going to love that. <gasps> little Arcadius. Not so little Arcadius. Oh my god, he's almost grown. I feel like anything with the word stimulator in it and Arcadius shouldn't be combined, but that's okay. Let's take these cubits. I want to I find out how this EMC stuff works. Oh, well, apparently it's going to tell us. Okay. Cubit technology is all about advanced computing. High-end machines and technology. This might be even be on the brink of insanity. What's next? I seen by that, that's the final tier of the Rim Factory research. So we need two qubit processors for the energy condenser. Let's go back to the uh, factory tab, industrial. Uh, energy condenser, EMC duplicator, I guess that's it. And a qubit is 10 advanced components each. Yikes, that's expensive. And we need five of those advanced AI cores as well. My God. We've got mind-altering bionics. Because you know Captain Cuba right now is perfectly mentally stable. I do like the combat AI though. Gives a... Oh, look at that. Plus six melee parry chance and plus two melee parry projectile chance. Plus two what? I don't know. Two percent? Two bullets? Oh, God. Cobalt. I think this time we put cobalt down. <laughs> Are you okay? You certainly don't look very okay. Actually, more to the point, is our freezer okay? Well, I got a little overboard on the mushrooms. Oh, here we are. Scourge pods. Leonidas, tell like the Shattered Sovereignty is making a request. She wants to send mechanoids. I don't want the goodwill of the Empire. I don't give a shit about the Empire. But I want the mechanoids. Where are they even going to land a giant mechanoid cluster right now? Oh, shit, yeah. Guess that, uh... Guess that answers that question. <laughs> Holy shit, that's dense. This might also be dense, but I mean, um... I'm smashed those mechanoids last time like they were nothing. Just Ohm and the Brig Lebowski. Two dudes hanging out. How many reinforcements we got to deal with? Oh, shit, that's quite a few. I mean, that's only a good thing, because it means we make more of those crazy organs. Holy shit. Oh, no, Ohm looks like he's in danger. It's the Brig Lebowski. I love that this guy's made such a name for himself already. Just clubbing that one mechanoid was enough to put him on the map. He's doing, like, a better job than Ohm is. Look at this man go. Oh, shit, that's that, I guess. Um... <laughs> <laughs> well done, squad. What did we even get from that quest in the end? Our trade beacon's like, oh my god. 1500 uh, jade. I wondered why we won't get any research done. We need something called a quantum device. Another friggin' multi-analyzer I've forgotten about. Qu quantum device. 
Ah, uh, quantum device? You know, I'm starting to think we can't build one of those. And I'm starting to think we can't change the research. Okay, I've allowed a one-off reroll because I think we might have self-locked it there. Growth stim- wait, another growth stimulator? Or is it a different stimulator altogether? If one man can handle all this stimulation, it's Arcadis. Allows him to regrow any missing body part. Holy shit. Oh, the cosmic weapons are only firearms. What if we craft it and hit them with the butt of a gun? Uh, melee. Melee damage. Oh, shit. Ohm's Yeoman Ceremony? Oh, from years ago. <laughs> this was like... This was like primitive era, right? Because if you remember, we did a quest for the for the for the empire. We got own the yeoman title. It was like the really basic, you know, being chased by a by a rabid monkey or whatever. And then we took in Arcadius. Arcadius was the traitor to the empire, so that we get the silence for Ohm. That's where it all started. Ring him up five hundred years later. Yeah, I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to cash in my voucher. Atomic reconstruction. I I I'd love it. No, I would love it, but I don't know why the hell to get a quantum device. It links to the research bench. You'd assume you'd just be able to cut the research bench and there it would be. Oh, I guess I'll just have to settle for cosmic energy. Oh my god, we can finally use that catalyst fuel cell. <laughs> We're really cashing in on some big long-term plays today. Fuck it, ring him up. We'll, we'll, we'll be yeoman. All right, here he is. Man of the hour. Let's go ahead and do our bestowing ceremony. Psych! Hammer time! <laughs> yes! Holy shit, they made short work of that. We're not going to bow down to a Stellark. Excellent. Holy crap, the Bestower had some heat. Bi-coded <laughs> Stellar Pistol. I've never actually killed the Bestower before in Rimworld ever. What happens now? We smash the shuttle up and... And kill them. Ah. Uh, that's kind of it, I suppose. I... I have an idea. Just, just give me a minute. Nice. That'll probably do it. Oh! Oh! <gasps> The age of 116. Holy shit. Oh, Arcadius. Oh, the holy beaver. What is wrong with these people? He just conveniently had a heart attack as he passed under the friggin' antimatter beam. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I, I get it. I probably would do it, yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to build an extra wall around this side because they really can't stop themselves. Oh, shit, we haven't even got time for a funeral. Holy crap, that's really not that bad. I expected more. I think we've hit the point of diminishing returns where the game just doesn't know what to throw at us anymore. I'm sending them after that fast because these things will just plow down the walls if we don't if we don't get them now. I'm surprised. They're, they're holding up. I just really like a human raid. Really love to see Captain Cubus mutations in action. Maybe get a little bit of fresh blood into Incest Central. Another one of these damn things. I'm almost afraid to say it. I think we're a bit too far ahead of the storyteller at this point. Okay, yeah, no, that's really proving me wrong. <laughs> did, did I just blow that man up with a single swing of his hammer? Huh. I guess he's just got a chance to do that then, eh? I'm just too busy for Void these days. We got we got more important things to do than deal with your shit. What, uh, what happened to Cobalt's body? Oh, shit, did they cremate it? You better not have... Oh, come on. Well, Toy Boy Roy gets a bit of an upgrade from Colony Litterer to Pepper Stasius Patriot. There you go. So we've got Bonce, Arcadius, Toy Boy Roy, and Captain Cuba Viving Gravy Plasma as the four Patriarchs right now. Keg Dent is down as well. Keg Dent, are you okay? High blood pressure? Which is going to die to too many nice meals. Minus 15% consciousness. That and her brain scar, it's knocked her out. This is your brain on gourmet meals. You gotta give her a brain transplant to cancel out all the salt. Maybe the hyper-regulator will do it? What does that do? Uh, yeah, I don't want to see it though. Hyper-regulator. No, that won't help. Oh, but look. 98.45%. No, not now. Oh, it's an even bigger ship chunk this time. I guess maybe these ones don't appear until... You're at the later ages. Let's see if Ohm can insta-kill it with his hammer again. Oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, insects. You picked a terrible time. I, I'm not I'm not pissing around. This is the return of Arcadius Remastered. Well, I suppose it's not the return of Arcadius Remastered. It's, it's just Arcadius Remastered. Wow, Ohm's weapon is... uh Really is just complete shit, isn't it? Except for when it insta-kills the strongest void enemy. That's fine. This is... 
a grand moment. Let's all just breathe this in a second. I suppose, Keg Dancer, you're invited too, even though you snuck in. The birth of Arcadius Remastered. Um, maybe I've got to let him out. Uh, there we go. Oh, we've got to open it. Right, that <laughs> does make a lot of sense. Palmy was hoping he would just smash through the glass, but he also doesn't have a brain, so I suppose that's fair enough. No! I actually stood up from my chair then. What fucking timing is that? He didn't get to see original Arcadius. It was actually his birthday on the day that Arcadius was finished. That was not intentional. I couldn't have figured that out if I wanted to. No. 3rd of Jugas, there it is. That is fucking insane. It was quite literally... Two seconds too early. I'm, I'm, I'm in awe. I'm actually in awe. We've had some crazy shit happen on this channel, but that is... That's up there. That's like... That's just insane. I guess there can only be one Arcadius. It's a one-in-one-out system. And unfortunately for Arcadius the second, he drew the short straw. Goodbye, my friend. Age... What was that? 106? And that means... That the pressure's on for Brig Lebowski. At the age of 21, becomes the Arcadius Patriot. Well, I mean, does he? I don't really know what happens now. He does, for now, from Leg Smasher to Patriot. I, I will admit, I don't know the etiquette for if your great, 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 great grandfather is resurrected. So that is it, just empty sleeve. We have to feed it, and I assume we can operate on it. There you go, sleep quality high. Very nice. Can we reinstall him into 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 this one? Maybe I can just like reinstall the whole pod. I want to begin the operations, even though I'm sure Ohm is fine to do it. I'm not I'm not taking any risks here. These barnets are way too difficult to make. Ah, there we go, that worked. We've got the option to carry him to a crypto casket, but I've no idea what. Oh, to put him in the reconditioning pod. I mean, to be fair, we we actually could. And can we operate on him freely, even though he's not actually a colonist? Oh no, we can't. Uh, I guess we've got to install the brain first then, huh? Damn, I was really hoping we'd be able to get those limbs in before we bought back Arcadius. Well, shit, I guess we'll begin the preparations then. I wanted Arcadius II to be the one to do it, but... I mean, he's got other plans, apparently. Maybe it is a bit more appropriate, given that only Omen Strooper has actually met original Arcadius. We can also duplicate him. Oh, that's interesting. Get an Arcadius backup. So... Pick up cortical stack. H how do I do this? How does this work? Click on the casket? No? Um. I have I have no idea how this works. Uh, putting it in a stop part doesn't do anything. Maybe now we've got a bill? Nothing. Yeah, I have no idea how this works. Um, if I had to guess, I would assume you are supposed to be able to put Barnix and the stack into... I uh, Hang on, can we just... Oh. Uh. I guess the uh, the base game menu doesn't really like the empty sleeves then. Okay, so for new Arcadius, we want the hyper regulator. Yeah, there you go. Install filled cortical stack. Okay, there we are. Let's get all of this stuff dealt with first, and then we'll implant the stack as the very, very final thing. Boost immunity seems like a pretty good idea. Stimulate muscle growth. All right, sure. Luciferium. We can make a, a steady supply of Luciferium, right? Honestly, why not? We'll do it as the final thing, though. And now, hopefully, the loam won't fuck this up too much. I think a couple of those are probably going to be incompatible, like the bionic spine, or sorry, the exoskeleton suit with the biological spine replacement we had. Yeah, this will uh, this will probably take a little while. Are we even going to have enough medicine? <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, no, I think we'll probably be fine. What is with all these insects? Send me a send me a Void Raid. Send me an Ultra Tech Faction Raid. Send me something worthy of Ohm and Struppers and Brigadier Lebowski. Oh, I wonder if they'll get infected by Captain Cuba. I mean, maybe not because they're, they're insects, but, you know. Hang on a second. How could I forget? And boom, there you go. Come along, Paro. There we are. Let me just get rid of the sleeping spot and reinstall that. Welcome to your eternal prison. He can't starve to death. He can't leave. And if he does eventually die, I'll 
just resurrect him again. And the walls have uh, 22,875 hit points, so he's definitely not breaking those down. Oh, I should have roofed over it. Hang on. For the rest of time, he'll be trapped in a box he can never escape from. His only comfort is the little dim glow coming from his meal unit. Meanwhile, Arcadius is still being operated on. But I think with this one, that should be it. A complete, perfectly upgraded, oh my god, Arcadius. Wow. I'm not going to read all these out. You can try and figure out what the hell's going on if you want to, but um, suffice to say, he's pretty damn well upgraded at this point. There is only one thing left to do. Install, filled, cortical stack. Well, that, my friends, is something for tomorrow. Thank you all for watching. What a what a, what a weird day. I, I might, in between episodes, to be honest, tweak what we've got going on with the storyteller. Having constantly inset raids is, to be honest, a little bit boring. There's no point having all these crazy bionics and weapons and armor if we can't actually test on anything, right? So I'll do what I can in between episodes to uh, to give that a bit of a bit of a kick up the ass because it's taken a while to really threaten us, especially given that tomorrow we have the biggest threat of all. Little Arcadius is back, a long last, hundreds of years, to 200. It's got to be like close to 300 years at this stage, definitely. Thank you. In the meantime, of course, to the patrons for making this episode possible in the first place. A big thank you, of course, to Herwolf, Cubehog, King Snitch Gaming, Gammon Jude, Zetlock, Cuddles, Master Rob, Shotgun Diplomacy, Virgo of Doom, or Kansas, Feral Housecat, and Smack You for their support. The executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Big thank you to you guys for giving me the time of day to record this because this fucking episode. Ah, uh, been recording it since 7 a.m. It's currently two minutes past one. Uh, PM. That is uh, 1302. Thank you as well to Zesty, Ian Geo, Metman, Robbie Boy, Zerato, J1293, Magister Militant, Sheng Damast, Bordoon, The Apocalypse Shovel, Mr. Awesome, Sync9, and I see the Great.